study from Fidelity Investments reveals American parents are concerned about COVID-19's impact on their ability to save for college. Despite these concerns, most families are continuing to stash money away for their children's college education. What's keeping parents motivated? What can those struggling families do during the pandemic to get better prepared? To answer those questions and more, we are joined by John Boroff of Fidelity Investments. Welcome, John. So how did parents score on this year's college savings indicator, and what does this mean? Yeah, this year's college savings indicator score was 33, which means that parents are on track to have 33% of their college savings goals met by the time their student or students reach college age. So clearly there's still some work to be done there, but this does represent an, an improvement from the last time we did the study back in 2018, where the score was 28. There's some additional uh, good news from this year's study, and that's that nearly 80% of our responders said that they are already saving for college. And that's a big improvement from what we first saw when we, we did the study back for the first time in 2007. So what does that mean, that parents are just getting a better head start now? They're realizing the cost of college and um, they, they're, they're taking action earlier? We've seen steady improvement over the years of doing the study. Again, we've done this since 2007. And uh, awareness of things like 529 savings accounts has improved. Um, so, yeah, just a steady progress over, over the years. Well, it's great to have that kind of a trend to call upon, John. That's wonderful. Um, so how are parents feeling about college and its cost with COVID-19 disrupting many students' education this fall? What a nightmare for people, huh? Yeah, understandably, there's been a lot of uncertainty this fall. And the study shows that in that less than a third of responders said that they were feeling confident heading into the new school year. What's interesting, though, is that 77% of responders said that they were planning to maintain or even increase their college savings rate this year. If you combine that with the fact that they also overwhelmingly said that they still feel that college is worth the cost, what this tells us is that parents are viewing the pandemic as a particularly difficult period of time, but they're continuing to focus on their long-term savings goals, and for most, that includes saving for college. Well, I guess that's wonderful news for for kids, too, so maybe they don't have to take out so many loans, which has been in the news um, often. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Okay, so what can parents do to help improve their savings, even with the financial challenges due to the pandemic? Yeah, we, we have to acknowledge that this has been an unusual year, and there have been a number of um, unique challenges to saving, whether it's changes in job status or increased expenses due to the pandemic. With that said, there are some things that people can consider that can help them save in almost any environment. Uh, so first, you could consider using a rewards card um, that way you can turn some of your everyday spending into savings, especially if you can get a card that can fun funnel those uh, rewards directly into a 529 account. The other thing you can consider doing is uh, enlisting the help of family and friends in your college savings efforts. Uh, we've seen a big increase in the last few years of gifts made into 529 accounts. And in many cases, people are choosing to gift into a 529 instead of giving a more traditional gift on a birthday or holiday. That's such a great idea. You know, I bet people don't really think about doing that. I mean, who needs another toy when, you know, uh, money put towards someone's college education can really go a long way? Right. Absolutely. Uh, what resources are available to help parents feel more confident in meeting their college savings goals? When it comes to feeling confident, the most important thing is knowing where you stand. Uh, we've seen that having a plan can really increase your confidence. And we've also seen that people who have a plan tend to save more. Uh, what's important to note is that having a plan doesn't have to be something complicated. It can be very simple. As long as you have something that you can refer back to and revise on a regular basis, it's going to be a big help. And there are a lot of uh, free online resources that can help you develop a plan, uh, track your progress, and help you determine how much you really can be saving based on your own unique individual circumstances. Wow, that's fantastic. So where can we go for more information? The best place to start is fidelity.com slash 529. Okay. Well, John, you've given us a lot to think about and, um, uh, and a, a bit of good news with the uh, all this pandemic news uh, 
floating around. So I want to thank you again for um, your wise information. Uh, great to talk to you. Thanks. Bye-bye.